MUA? Yes, sir. I can't hear you and they definitely can't. MUA? Yes, sir. MUA? Yes, sir. MUA? Yes, sir. MUA? Yes, sir. MUA? All right, that's right, we are here to stay and we'll let all those people inside know a little bit more about what's going on. Here's Shannon O'Keefe, the ITS campaign director. Please make a very welcome. Thanks, Matt. Well, thank you for coming today. I want to tell you a bit about this company. VICT, supported by the Victorian Transport Association and their members, is owned by a Philippine-based company, ICTSI. They're the fastest growing and most profitable port company in the world and they're doing that because they're involved in some of the grubbiest, shadiest deals on the planet, doing deals with dictators like Kabila, like Assad, like Bashir. This is a company that operates in conflict zones and ties its business strategy to identifying locations where democracy is at its weakest because they know that they can extract more profits out of places where workers have no rights and human rights have no price. This is a company that needs to be outed for the kind of behaviour overseas and brought right back here to Victoria. Because as the International Transport Workers Federation, we have a clear policy. You touch one, you touch all. You touch the workers in Victoria and you touch the other workers that we are organising on this company in Papua New Guinea, in Pakistan, in Madagascar, in Indonesia, in Poland, in Croatia and in Georgia. This is a company that has terrible standards for occupational health and safety that comes into markets just like they did in Victoria and cuts wages and conditions for workers. This is a company with a global history of exploiting workers, undercutting communities and doing deals with dictators. And we say to the Victorian Transport Association, you should be very careful about who you do business with because their reputation will affect your reputation. We are currently organising in Pakistan and your comrades there have sent you a message which I want to read out. Dear comrades, the entire maritime sector unions, including the ICTSI workers in Karachi, Pakistan, stand side by side with you across the ICTSI global network. And let's be clear, the VICT terminal is not a unique third operator in Melbourne. It is part of a global network of terminals where profit is extracted in places where democracy is at its weakest. And we say to VICT, your behaviour in these countries cannot be isolated in Victoria when you come here and say that you are a legitimate operator. This behaviour is reprehensible, it is with corrupt operators, and we will hold you accountable to that. Our comrades in Pakistan say, we will stand by while I, we will not stand by while ICTSI undercuts the wages and conditions of workers. We support you and your families. We will stand together against bullying, harassment and exploitation and fight for our fundamental labour rights. Accept our struggle during your, uh, during your struggle. And we say back to the workers in Pakistan who are taking action right now, we stand with you because with the International Transport Workers Federation, we are one group of workers. We are not ICTSI workers in Melbourne and Pakistan and Papua New Guinea. We stand together and we will not let the VTA and their sponsors and, their, and those that they support isolate themselves from ICTSI's disgusting behaviour overseas. Thank you. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say names of a couple of organisations and if you think they're shameful, give me a shame, shame, shame. VICT? Shame, shame, shame. VICT? Shame, shame, shame. ICTSI? Shame, shame, shame. ICTSI? Shame, shame, shame. VTA? Shine, shine, shine. Little out of Conway, VTA! Shine, shine, shine. VTA! Shine, shine, shine. 
It is shameful and we heard from Shannon just before just what type of people the VTA and the VN VICT are in bed with. It's absolutely unacceptable. To hear a little bit more about what VICT is doing right here in Victoria, the grubby type of union busting tactics they're trying to import onto our waterfronts. To hear a little bit more about that, I'm going to hand over to Will Tracy, who's the Deputy National Secretary of the Mighty MUA. Give it up for Will. Comrades, I want to thank everyone for turning out today and taking the uh, effort to drive down to Lawn and stand with us outside the Victorian Transport Association annual general meeting. As you'd be aware, yesterday we had a silent vigil inside uh, that meeting that they're conducting inside. I think they vacated the joint because apparently they can hear us out here today. We've got a good speaker set up uh, here from Trades Hall. Uh, and it's always a welcome addition to any rally that we hold. I want to talk a little bit about this company, VICT, who are a global, multinational company that has come to Victoria. The parent company of VICT's business model is to work with the worst of the governments on the globe, the dictatorships, to undercut local wages and conditions, to undercut local safety conditions, to bully, harass, intimidate local labour activists, to sack local labour activists and run a business model that is about undercutting the wages and conditions of local workers to win business in the countries in which they operate. And there is bribery and corruption from this outfit wherever they are around the world where they go hand in glove with the various dictatorships and despot regimes to extend a business model that is about destroying local workers their families and the communities in which they live. Shame. Comrades, they have brought that business model to Victoria and we have seen VICT come into the Victorian waterfront onto the Australian Stephen Oring industry scene and undercut our industry rates and conditions by 40%. Shame. We have seen VICT come into Victoria and undercut the award minimum rates and conditions by 12.5%. No! We have seen VICT come into Victoria and attack and harass activists inside their terminal and prior to Christmas sack the MUA delegate that was recruiting membership inside that terminal. No! And when they sacked and attacked our delegate in that terminal, they then lied about the reason that they had done that. And this company came out publicly and said the reason they had terminated the delegate was because he was unable to get a security pass onto the waterfront. And we proved through that dispute that that line they were running out was plain false and lies. And what did the Victorian Transport Association do when we exposed the lies about the sacking of an MUA delegate inside that terminal? They locked in behind them. The Victorian Transport Association by virtue of its relationship with VICT, has to be an, an organisation, an umbrella organisation that endorses the undercutting of industry rates and conditions of other Stephen Oren operations who are members of this organisation. By standing lockstep with VICT, this is an umbrella organisation that supports the undercutting of minimum wages and conditions as defined by the award in this country. Shame. By standing with VICT publicly, the VTA is an organisation that supports the bullying and victimisation and harassment of delegates and, and workers in the workplace down there in Victoria. Shame. This is an umbrella organisation that supports the sacking of delegates in workplaces in this state. The Victorian Transport Association has two choices because they sit in this building today with their affiliate members, many of whom pay the industry rates and conditions in the transport sector, many of whom support. This is a conference supported by the Industry Superannuation Fund. So we assume that many of the members of the Victorian Transport Association who sit in this building today pay the industry rates and conditions and support the union in their workplace. And the Victorian Transport Association has to come out of the shade, has to come out of the shade and declare themselves. Do they support the law-abiding membership 
who pay the industry rates and conditions and support the union in their workplace? Or do they support a global, global foreign multinational that attacks its delegates, that undermines health and safety in the workplace, that undermines minimum award conditions of employment in this country and that attacks the industry rates and conditions and undermines them by about 40% on average? It's up to the Victorian Transport Association and importantly the members of that umbrella organisation to condemn the VTA for standing with a company, a global foreign multinational company that works with dictatorships in other countries to come into this country and undermine our industry rates and conditions and the labour standards that we've quite proudly had in place for 150 years on the waterfront in this country. Comrades, I urge you and the VTA needs to understand if they are going to come out and support VICT, wherever they are, we will turn up and we will continue to protest. MUA! 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 All right, we've got another very good friend of me I'm about to introduce of the VTA. People like the VTA, people like the big industry groups have been crying to the government to say, please don't let the CFMU and the MUA join forces. Please don't let two of the strongest unions in the country come after us and challenge our power. But that's exactly what they're doing. The CFMU and the MUA have joined forces to create Australia's strongest union. Please make welcome the National Secretary of the CFMU General Division, Dave Noonan. Thanks. I want to start off by acknowledging the traditional owners of the country on which we, we meet, the Wathorong people, and have a look around at this beautiful place we're in. Always was, always will be Aboriginal land. I want to also start off by talking about why we're here and why the CFMEU and the MUA are coming together. You see, there are some that would say the fact that the members of the CFMEU, of the Maritime Union of Australia, of the TCFUA, through their democratic processes in their unions have said we want to come together, that that shouldn't be allowed to be happening. There's a bill in front of the Federal Parliament at the moment trying to stop the creation of this new union trying to thwart the democratic decision that's been made by the unions to come together and build a new and stronger union. And in making that case, they're trying to paint a picture of, of disaster, of gloom, of terrible things that are going to happen if these working class organisations are allowed to come together. But you see, the fact that we're here today demonstrates that we are determined to come together to build a cohesive force that can speak truth to corporate power in this country and across the globe. Let's have a think about ITSI, IC, ICTSI. Let's have a look at them. What is this company? A company that's in bed with the Tuerte in the Philippines? 1,400 people murdered by death squads, by paramilitaries. He's one of the powers behind the Twerto, the bloke that runs this company, ICTSI. You see, some people have said that the standard you walk past is the standard you accept. And I say to the Victorian Transport Authority, you are here with ICTSI as a member you are publicly supporting and endorsing ICTSI. You are publicly endorsing and supporting a company which not only seeks to drive down the wages of working Australians on our waterfront and in our industries by 40% and more, but you are standing with a company that works and collaborates with dictators across the globe that treats human life as having no value, that treats working people as cannon fodder, as expendable in their ceaseless quest for global profits. 
I think the Victorian Transport Authority needs to think about the company they keep. Because my old man used to say, if you lie down with dogs, you get up with fleas. Yeah. So, all of us are here today, and we will continue to give voice to workers all over the world. Not just the workers at WebDoc, but the workers in Pakistan, in the Philippines, the workers in Papua New Guinea, who were sacked en masse by this same company and represented by the ITF and their affiliates in fighting against that injustice. We stand for justice. We stand for workers. We stand for decent work instead of untrammeled corporate profits. And while that injustice continues, you will never see the back of us. We will not be defeated. We will not be intimidated. And the Victorian Transport Authority ought to think about whose side they're on. The side of working people, of decency, or do they want to be in bed with a company that has this evil, dark, global reputation? So I say to you, comrades, friends, to everybody here, thanks for coming down. We stand here with our heads held high, and we say, as we always say, the workers united will never be defeated. The workers united will never be defeated. The workers united will never be defeated. Thank you, friends and comrades. Thanks, Dave. And Dave brings another good point back to this, which is that no matter where VTA goes, no matter where their sponsors go, no matter where their members go, if they are going to stand with people like ICTSI, with people who have friends amongst those dictators on those placards out there, the worst of the worst, we, the union movement of Australia, will stand with our comrades across the world and push back. And we will tell everybody about what the VTA is up to, We'll tell everybody what VICT is up to because we won't, get, we won't go away until this company starts to respect its workers, not just on the docks down in Melbourne, but all around the world. To, find, to, to wrap up our rally today, it's my great, pleasure to you, my great pleasure to introduce to you the Secretary of the Geelong Trades and Labor Council, Cole Vernon. Give it up for Cole. Uh, first of all, I want to acknowledge the uh, traditional owners of the land, the Wathorong. This is Aboriginal land, always was and always will be. Uh, look, uh, first of all, I'd just like to say well done to everyone who's turned up here today. You know, to look around the crowd here and to see so many uh, great union faces and a lot of activists and all the rest, it's fantastic. And I tell you what, you know, the Geelong activists and the Geelong unionists have done yourselves proud today. <laughs> Now, as far as this grubby mob goes that's inside there, I'll, I'll tell you guys something. I was approached a week ago, and uh, I had some organisers uh, from the union explain to me about this mob, and they said, you know, Cole, can we actually do something down here? Can we actually let them know that they're not actually getting off the hook by hiding down at Lawn to bloody run their conference? I said, you know what? We'll come down and help you. We'll back you in 100 bloody percent. <laughs> Right, so we come down here yesterday, 17 activists, women, men, unemployed, traditional unionists, we come down here, we went in there and we told them the type of stuff that you're doing, you're not going to get away with it, you're not going to get away with it in Sydney, we told you there, you think you can come down here and hide, we know you're here. <laughs> And they thought they'd turn the lights on from us. Yeah? They kept us in there on the dark. But I tell you what, you might have had us in the dark, but we still see what you're doing, and we're not going to let you get away with it. You can go to the corners of the earth and we'll still be there. The mighty Australian trade union movement standing with the international unions will not let you get away with it. And what I say to the transport industry is, think about who you associate with. <laughs> When they try to stand on us, we fight back guys, don't we? You know, we stand, we stand for, the, for unity. You know, so when they stand on us, we fight back. You know, we've got the CFMEU here, 
SFMU is going to stay forever, MUA will stay forever, and these, this mob, they're not going to stay forever. They're stabbing each other in the back. All right, that's it from me, guys. Congratulations. Let's stick fat and let's keep the unity going. Let's build our movement. And let's hold the corporates to account. And this grubby mob shouldn't even be in the bloody country. So let's make sure we hound them wherever they go. Thank you very much. Can't be that, comrade, so let's hear it again. MUA! Louder, yes, well, MUA!